Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the Brugly channel. It's Brugly here as always, and in this episode, I want to go over a brand new entity that just got found in the back rooms called Entity 999. This has the potential to be one of the deadliest things in all of the back rooms, so without further ado, let's hop right into it, shall we? The entry starts with a quote. There's something strange about my friend today. It's like he's been replaced with a totally different person ever since the day he got infected with that virus. Unlike before, he hides in the corner with that gaping smile and weird delusion of taking over the human population. Or is it just me? So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty creepy, I gotta say. Entity 999 has a Concord classification of 4B-, which means the entity is very likely to mortally wound you and has a high level of human intelligence. So pretty much that means it's dangerous and smart. Entity 999 is specifically a pathogen that is seen mostly in isolated areas. It can, however, infect food and water or other items and supplies, stuff like that. And this thing is very hard to identify because of how it looks. It's clear. And also because it acts very strangely and has sentience. So a weird thing is that the main victims of this 999 virus pathogen are individual people and not big groups. So Entity 999 does not get to infect just a big group of people like a normal virus would. It picks and chooses who it affects and when it happens. And this was proven because the proliferation rate, or how quickly it creates more of itself, slows down abnormally fast when there are other people or other entities near it. And that also proves that the pathogen has a high level of intelligence because it actively chooses who it wants to infect. Entity 999 adapts and changes rapidly when it's in a chemically hazardous environment. So if there's a bunch of toxins floating around the environment and there's chemicals everywhere, this thing thrives. There's been some attempts to wipe out the pathogen, but nothing works. And on top of that, this thing can somehow acclimate itself to the most dangerous environments and not die, so you could put it into a freezing cold tundra and it would still live, which is unlike normal bacteria, which will die in warm or cold environments. This one doesn't. Now the reason the entity itself is hard to see, as I briefly stated earlier, is because it's almost completely transparent and it doesn't reflect any any light, even under microscopes, you can barely see it. But it can be seen on food and other stuff through ultraviolet lights or UV lights. So make sure you got a UV flashlight to check your stuff before you touch it or eat it because you don't want to get infected with this thing. On an even creepier note, this entity has been studied that in the bloodstream of someone, it has the ability to chemically alter your red blood cells, which means that it can release toxins inside of a person's veins once it gets there and it can control the blood cells that are already in you. That is terrifying, man. The specific symptoms of Entity 999 vary between people and it also depends on how the pathogen got into you, which can happen in one of two ways. The first way is called internal entry, and this happens when you eat or drink something that's infected with the entity. And this method of entry is the worst kind because there can be a lot of this entity on the food or drink of whatever you're inhaling, so this puts more of itself into you. The other kind of entry is called external entry, which is when the pathogen goes through your nose, eyes, mouth, or anything connected to your blood bloodstream or lymphatic system. And this type of entry is normally pretty mild and the, the symptoms are not that serious since it goes at smaller doses inside of you like that. The symptoms that you get from both methods of entry are swelling of your lymph nodes, delirium, confusion, anemia, jaundice, nausea, dizziness, memory loss, loss of consciousness, near unaliving, and major changes in personality. It's also been witnessed that the entity pathogen kills off your cells that the immune system in your body sends to fight it. You can't even win for losing, man. This is so dangerous. Over 60% of people who have been affected by this entity said that they have visions or are extremely delusional or that they lose all ability to communicate temporarily for about two weeks to be exact. And that's how long the symptoms seem to last. But it all depends on how much of it gets inside of you. As if it couldn't get any worse, 
there is a subtype of Entity 999 called 999B, which is a parasitic worm that works together with the normal Entity 999. Well, maybe it does. There's no concrete proof of it, but the worms only appear when someone gets the normal Entity in you, so it's gotta be together somehow. There are also two specific stages of this disease infecting you, called Stage R and Stage NR. Now, Stage R is the first part of the sickness when the Entity first gets in your bloodstream or in your lymphatic system. This is right before the bad stuff happens, so enjoy it while it lasts. Stage NR is the last part of this disease, and this is when the hallucinations start. Now this is where it gets really dangerous. When a person is on this stage, they've reported seeing anthropoidal shadows and silhouettes, or shadows that look like people, in their head. But this isn't just in their head because they can see it in real life. It's a full-on delusion. Now these shadows imitate memories from that infected person's brain. So let's say you have a good memory of Christmas morning with your family. These human shadows acted out in front of you, but they're shadows and you can't tell what they are. This in our stage causes extreme emotions and anxiety to happen inside of you and even derealization as well because you're seeing your memories just in a completely different way. So it can mess you up pretty bad. People who get over stage NR and get healthy again claim that their entire personalities have changed due to this sickness and that it messes you up in your head really bad and I, I can't blame them because I, I think it sounds like it would. Just another day in the backrooms though, am I right? So yeah, that was the new Entity 999, a mind-changing pathogen that is hard to trace and is very dangerous if you get infected. It just hides in isolated areas, so my advice is to not wander into isolated areas. Alright, so this is future Brugly after this video is already completed. I'm popping in to tell you that I have a huge announcement for something that I'm going to be launching in the end of July. It's a brand new channel. The channel will be called Spoogly, so S-P-Oogly, and on the channel, I will be doing SCP readings and SCP lore. It's pretty much going to be the SCP channel, kind of like Brugley's The Backrooms channel. So yeah, the videos over there will be extremely chill. They'll be pretty long, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of me just chilling out, reading the entries, reading everything like that, going over the lore, going over that kind of stuff. And I'm going to be posting the first video on that channel once it hits 1,000 subscribers. So I'm going to link the channel in the description below. Go over there and subscribe to it. Help me get to 1K. And I will launch several videos in the middle to the end of the July for you guys to watch. So get that to 1K subs for the brand new channel. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a very consistent channel just like Brugly and Toogly. We got three channels now, Brugly, Toogly, and Spoogly. And... <laughs> It's going to be awesome, and I'm excited for this expansion. Hope you are too. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the video and supporting me. I really appreciate it. Check out the links below if you haven't already, and go sub to my second channel. It's about to hit 20k subscribers. That's insane. Thank you so much. I upload bangers on there. I really hope you enjoy it, and I think you will. Thank you so much for supporting me on the Brugley channel. Guys, we've gained 20,000 subscribers in a week. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for everything. All love. Love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.